So what do you like most about this little marker? I really, I mean, I think one of the things I love about it, it's like, it's so small, you can zip around. It's like in traffic where you normally couldn't get through a little crack between two cars. You can like just easily go through. Parking is so amazing. Like, see how big that is? Yeah. No problem. It makes parallel parking a cinch. I really love that. Um, I like that it's it's got a unique design to it. Mm -hmm. and, um, it doesn't look just like a normal car, and so you know you're driving around and people kind of notice that. And I like that. I like that. Um, Smart really put a lot of effort into how not only the functionality because the the car is like 95% recyclable. Right. Um, which is really cool. Is that a stick shift? It is. So it's funny. It can be a drive and it's automatic, or you can stick it. You can put it in the manual. And they also wow. have, you have your panels, right? You can also do it right here. Oh, the, oh, the paddle thing. Yeah, that's, the that's, paddle. That's, that's a nice thing. My dad doesn't really like that. He likes the old, the old school. The old yeah. school. Yeah. So I think paddles are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Like it all depends on when you learned how to drive a stick. <laughs> if you're like, or not. I don't like the paddles either because I'm used to doing it at the old school. Yeah. So. I love the design. I love that it's 95% 95, 95 of everything you see could can be recycled. So at the end of its life, it can be disassembled and there's just a small amount left, which is also a really cool aspect of, um, of the car. You know, it, it's good gas mileage. Um, Do you know what the gas mileage is? 46 miles a gallon. Ooh. So That's um, good nowadays. Yeah, so that's, that's really nice. And because it's so small, I mean, in terms of how much energy it takes to actually make one of these, it's far less than, like, other types of compact cars. It's like, so those are the things I really like about it. And it's like, you know, when, once you get in, you're like, which one should I go? If you go right, you can get back on the campus okay. if you want. So, um, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, the... Once you get inside. Once you get inside, you realize, like, it, you don't feel like it's small. You know what I mean? Like, you don't realize that, like, a foot behind you, it stops. You know Yeah. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. So, um... So, are you talking? <laughs> can, a, can a cute little eco-friendly car get up and go? Yeah. I, I, it actually has a cruising speed of 80. Um, and I've gotten it... I was... When I first got in the car... There's a transfer truck to my left. There's one in front of me and one behind me, and they were not going to slow down, and they were going about 90. So I had to kind of like stay. I had to like, I had to go about 90 <laughs> so that I wouldn't get hit. <laughs> <laughs> I think they boxed me in because I was so small. Yeah. Um, so I've gotten up to around 90. Do you ever feel like, because every other car on the road is significantly larger, especially in America. So, right. do you ever feel uncomfortable driving this, like, on the interstate? No, you know, that's one of the things I was worried about. I thought that, especially with these big, like, transfer trucks, like, you know, the wind and stuff, and it's really amazing. It's a very stable car. Like, I don't feel like it's <laughs> sloshing around. You actually feel, and I think that's because of how they designed the chassis and how they, the underpinnings of, of the, um, of the car help keep it um, from doing that and it's, it's the center of gravity if you look at it, the outside it's 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 kind of t it's pretty tall so it also helps kind of yeah balance it. so I haven't felt any that's the thing you get into a car like this and out from the outside it looks like it's really small but um, when you start driving it it doesn't feel that way and so you drive it however you normally drive because there's no feeling that you're in a little car. You just feel like you're in this little, like, you're in this, like, futuristic pod, like, running around the country. <laughs> yeah. So, you have to, it's a hot right now. Well, yeah. So, it's under this panel. You just open it up, and it would be right underneath there. Now, what, this is making another question. Do you know, like, the safety regulations with this? Because, you know, it's always been... That fear with small cars, the whole crushability factor. Actually, that's a great question because I can. There's a real this smart car has a really great answer for that. So, um, so right here, look at look at this here. 
mm -hmm. this black line. It looks like it's just a design element. Right. But it's actually outlining the cage that protects you. Oh. So there's a cage that's designed that goes around the car that kind of protects you like a roll, like a roll cage or whatever it's called. And how it, and there's also eight, um, there's eight airbags inside the inside the car. So two at top, two at your knees, two in front of you. So that right. when, if you got into a, now the thing goes about this about this um, this cage or I know I'm not, that's not the right term. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when it, if you got hit on the side or in the front, it actually just distributes the the energy from the impact around the car so it doesn't crumple in and that's why it's a really it's actually really really safe that's great the, the wheel base and how it, it really the wheels are at the furthest edge so it really helps kind of balance the car right um, they really took a lot of effort in in um in making sure that it's safe and looking at the life cycle of this, like really making sure that you, it wasn't just small, but that it was small and, um, and you know, small, elegant, designy, cool, and safe. Yeah. And affordable. And affordable, exactly.